practice with Ube. Talk more about the draft. We are looking at a potential final match if BTK does take this match home. Ooh, looks like we have uh, conditions that have to be met. For uh, to time to speed. speed. Yato need to rotate together and get pickoffs on the off. Okay, nothing happening too crazy so far. Press the old, but then you use this first skill to give the another boost, but you won't get that. Uh, with the old, but... Or a toy bone, he has toy bones, but he'll still chew whatever the hell he sees. And Galaxy already giving a little bit of menace to Nicolette, ooh, a lot of damage. getting poked down a bit here. Now, I can already tell just by looking at this, they're both like on their toes, on their feet. The mid prior definitely this goes to Ackerman. This is the match. And honestly, the entire early game just goes to Ackerman. Brody, Hellkurt. Hellkurt into the hands of nice and early before this turtle spawned in. And Nicholas gonna opt in for the penalty zone, which means she Wait, is going to be a potential set uh, for this next uh, objective, which Kush already has a hand of. Whoa, whoa, two. Interesting. Just give it, bro. Just give it. Tealy for some sort of play here. So does Joy Bodge. They get they get Tonak and they get Apple. Not the worst thing in the world. It was just trades back and forth, which is fine. Now Zane doesn't have retro, so this is so greedy. Like I don't know what I'm watching right now. Like that is so greedy to try and go for that buff without retro. If you had retro, maybe. I don't know what I'm watching right now. That was such a shit show. I don't even know how BTK got two kills. That, that, that honestly amazed me that BTK got two there. Oh, going on Yato, your flicker's out. 1k gold lead for Ackerman. Pretty huge. Oh, kicking Tonak into Iso's face. Tonak with the flicker ult out. That's fine. Getting both his flicker and ult. I think Chow gets his ult back faster than Grok. So that overall is a fine trade. They get his flicker too. No kill, but that's not a big deal. Oh, Zane going on Kush here. Kush doesn't have ult. Might be in a bad spot. Tonak has an ult to stop Zane from going on him. Oh, and Kush is dead. Ult from Yato going on him. Galaxy no ult. Good kill. Iso almost solo killing Zia. Or actually not really solo. Joybot is here too. But they are zoning him off. Apple's kind of top to help. Iso should be careful. Might die here. He might want to back out there, Iso. Flickering out, Iso. Smart choice. We'll be greedy to stay. Looks like they might want to collapse top. Joybodge and uh, Yato following in pursuit. Joybodge had a flicker there. He would have gone for it for sure. But I guess he knows Chow has no flicker. Their rotations are a little bit scary, right? And they don't waste no time. Oh, Tonak with the ult to avoid Joybodge. Not sure if it's well played or a waste. Would he have died? Kag and... Yeah, he probably would have died. Kag ult and carry. Oh, Zane goes in. Now doesn't get it though. Retrieve from Kush. See, that is a proxy. He's the, like Step Weezy. That is what a proxy is. Where you cut them behind the tower and you get the wave. A proxy is not when all the waves are just pushing and you're clearing them. That is a proxy. Oh, Kush going on top. Joybodge here, getting ulted by Tonak. Now, she just said proxy again. That's not a proxy. Oh, wait, no, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. You know what? I think he's trying to say. I thought she was trying to say BTK is proxy. Ackerman proxy that way. Wait, did they even? I don't know. I don't fucking care. Whatever. Moving on. Maybe I was wrong about that one there, though. Only that one. Before. That was dumb. Right now, this game is pretty much even. Three to three on the board. Proxy means proxy is when you clear a wave behind their tower. When you cut wave. Simple way of saying it is cut waves. Trobo, why are you so emotional? It's just annoying to me to hear like wrong words. Oh, T looking for a player with his ult, getting ulted by Tonak. Push going in on him. 
Uh, Zayn and Kush, T with the three man, but no follow up. No one's there to help. <laughs> nice damage, Kag. Zayn trying to stop this power push here. Not gonna do much. Backing off. Right now, Ackerman finding a way to kind of stay in the top three teams from North America going up against the Empire. What? Why? Why did Tonak ult that? There's no way you'll do enough damage to burst Chow. Weird. Three K goalie for Ackerman. They really have a three K goalie. It doesn't seem like they do. Not emotional. Yeah. When do you ever see me emotional? I'm pretty sure my description on my channel stands point that I'm not the most emotional person. That doesn't mean I'm not all entirely. It just means it's rare. And this is one of those rare occasions. Oh, this is a big collapse from BTK. Oh, flicker roll from T, but it misses. Oh, wow. They use everything. Oh, this is not bad. This is not good. BTK just used two flickers to try to make a play here. Zane needs to get out. Nope, Zane gets caught out. Now BTK gets caught out. That would have been a good play if they had just whiffed everything. That was such a big whiff. That is going to be a potential uncontested objective this side of Ackerman as a jungler is dead. Now Zio Zay missed Ash. Oops. Alpha Ice already doing a little bit of that lane pressure in the management coming from the bot side. But Ackerman is actually in favor of these objectives. Three turrets into their favor are still looking to tread on more as they're going to go ahead and deny some farm to the side of BTK. Yeah, definitely trying to deny the farm. And right now, a good stance from Ackerman to be able to hold on in this series. Trying to make a play here, Tonak ulting, Kush getting on T here. T with the ult hits no one. That flicker ult been really nice right there. T dead. Flicker ult from Apple on Yato. Yato's dead. Zia looking for a pick here on Iso. Doesn't find anything though. Iso flickers out. 5k gold lead for Ackerman. Not looking too good for BTK. Yeah, I don't like the CAG. And Bosch is not picking Chow too, honestly. <laughs> oh, Zane dodges that. He would have died. Z is hurting. Brody. It's not really the hell curve pick. It's just that BTK has no damage. Tag and carry are both late game scaling. And who is Chow going to kick that those two can burst in time? That's like a frontliner. BTK just has no damage. Terezo's early game damage, but he's not doing too hot. And he's getting bursted anyway. BTK's comp is just bad this game. Troy Bodge getting silence. Dashes, can he get out? Zeal goes off. And he's dead. Two men all from T. Is he gonna find anything? Tonak might be forced to flicker out here. And he's dead. Good pick for BTK. Dia gets the red. Actually, no, Zane got it. Was there poop? Yeah, I I can't figure out four games. I have no idea. About 30 seconds, but that still means everyone's going to be up on the board. Now, this is where Ashley has to take advantage of BTK's mistakes. But BTK has no room to make Stay. any mistakes or do a potential misplay as soon as that happens. Whoa, well, Toy Bodge. Oh, Twinks holds out. There's not a lot of damage coming out from Iso there. Does he not have? He probably doesn't have his DHS yet. Probably just has Golden Staff for cor and Corrosion, or cor Corrosion and DHS. But like he doesn't have the three combo. It's KD8 Iso. Yeah, he's just farming. Hey, at least he's in dying. Lord has spawned in, and you are seeing Ackerman waste no time on the aggro. 
They don't have the damage to poke. They just have to split. They give me this for sure. He's dead. Oh, never mind. Gets out. Ults out just in time. Uh, Iso. Whoa. Oh, Iso gets a bottom tower. That's huge. He needs to just die, though. He needs to die so he's alive in time for the tower. Oh. He gets out? Damn. Never mind. Wait. Okay. I was going to say, did he get out there? Flicker. Oh, Cat Ayato with the play. Bursting Kush. They're not finding anything else, though. Are they going to get Galaxy? No, Galaxy's a lot of sustain. BTK kind of trolling here. Joy Bodge. I'm gonna be dead here. Zia. The ult kills Joy Bodge. A lot of BTK are dead for this Lord. Not looking good. Can they defend? Iso's up in five. They probably defend at the cost of a high ground. Yup, the high ground is down. Can they defend the bot high ground though? No wave yet. There's gonna be a wave soon though. Oh, Zia! Quite low. Zane, can you kill him? Zane with a solo kill on Zia. Yanta with the ult. Killing Apple. Galaxy 1 HP as well. Galaxy is dead. Zane trying to chase. Kush bursting Zane down. Yanta way to play. Holy shit. Nice play from Zane. Use his full HP Zia. Hmm. Free mid tower. You know the fact that BTK got that high ground bot is so he is so good for them. But they're gonna lose bot high ground too. Damn that one minion. That's gonna take it. That's not really worth to push these towers and lose your high grounds. Honestly, I think BTK they should have reset. Oh, Tonak, we can force ult here. Oh, if they get this high ground. Okay, uh, fuck, fuck what I just said. They actually got this high ground, which is huge. I did not think they would be able to get that high ground. I thought Totenak would wall it and stop it, but kind of killed himself. Ooh, can they get Kush? No, he gets out, probably. Looking for a turnaround, nothing's gonna happen. Chicken eating his words? Well, things can change. I'm okay with being wrong. I admit when I'm wrong. <laughs> So he's gonna start hurting a lot once he is able to get that frontline presence. But just like you said, right? Toys using the wild charge to get out, that is not really a good thing as there is no such potential, but he kinda has no choice but to check these bushes to make sure nobody is in there or else it's just a uh, one HP tower, yeah. That top tower is gonna die with like one auto. Now I feel like knowing that Galaxy, right, is running Arlock. The only disadvantage that I see... Whoa. Don't walk through that bush, Zane. <laughs> Iso just dodged the bullet there by not pathing through. Thank God. Do not path through the mid lane. That is suicide. Oh, Yato with the burst on the Kush. One shots him. He might die in the process, but that's a worth trade. Die for the jungler. That opens up a lot for the Lord. And now they don't have the Hellcurt ult either. This is good. This is huge for BTK. They can play around this Lord here as much as they want. Joy Bodge gonna be kicking yeah, Galaxy for some reason. Galaxy ulting on the ESO. Galaxy really low getting out here. Zane trying to go on Galaxy and kill him. He's gonna sustain a lot. He needs to get out. Nicolette going in but dying. ESO losing his immortality. T1 HP. What is it with the nature? He's gonna die in the process. Honestly, that was a really weird kick for Joy Bodge. Why would you kick Galaxy of all people? And maybe he wants to burst him, but still a really weird kick. Zane trying to make a play here. Galaxy going in. One HP. He seems like he's looking for Zia here, but Zia's gonna flick her out. Hellcurl goes off. BTK not looking good here. They need to get out. Brodeo goes off as well. Oh, BTK though. Bursting Zia. Yato making the play of his career. Yeah, Zia's dead. Tonai to flickers out. Galaxy has no flicker to get out. They're killing him. They're beating the fuck out of him. He gets kicked again. He gets kicked again by Joy Bond, but this time it works. Oh, Kush with a two-man second skill. Absolutely obliterates Yato and Zane. It doesn't seem like they're gonna do the Lord though. Off of that, I think BTK should reset and then try a Lord again. Absolutely one-shotting him. BTK can still do the Lord. It's a four v three. But they need to shove all their waves to make sure they don't lose a high ground. Oh, 
Uh, I don't know why Iso's going top. He should just go bot to the Lord, and they should start Lord together. But I guess he wants to shove it out just to get it shoving. And I guess he has time, to be fair. But if he was there right now, they could just melt the Lord. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, T getting bursted. Flickers out, doesn't matter. Zane ults, tries to do something. Joy Bosch dies as well. Who gets the Lord? And Kush gets the Lord. But Iso here, trying to clean up. No, Iso, really bad flicker. Really bad dash. Getting picked off. Uses the wind of nature. Can he get out? Dashes over the wall. They can't chase. No one has flicker. What a shit show this is. What an absurd shit show. Galaxy, flickering on Yato. Can he kill? Yato dead. Die solo to Galaxy. Is gonna be hit for a possible retribution. Zane dodges it. Thorn Rose on his way out. Can they defend this? We are looking at the Lord push into the base. I saw Zane. The wave spawns. Galaxy dies in the process, kills himself. What they were throwing. This is such a shit. What is this clown fiesta? So kill suicide after suicide after suicide. They don't know. You could just tell these two teams are not willing to give up anything. They, so one fight can go terribly wrong for one side, but it will be. Oh, going on T here. He's alone. I don't know why, why T is alone up top here. He gets bursted. He'll be up before Lord, but still, I don't know why is T alone up top. I don't know. Kind of overextended a lot with zero vision on the map. But nonetheless, bit of a dumb death there. Great wave management really won't punish them that really kind of weird closer and closer we get to this next lord spawning in it may be the game changer for either side to close this game out i think that's the first time that points actually landed an ult because he's been using it to get out but he actually was able to secure that kill for the side of argument taking t off the board now this is going to be a five man btk right should not be like playing this up front when they have a dead teammate they're just asking themselves to get attacked, and they just kick Totenak. And Totenak just got a two-man ult, and they all just got four-man ulted. And Iso, oh, but they killed Iso. Iso dashing out here, gets out. I, I, it's actually amazing they get one to get out here, but they're looking for a flank. Iso not in a good spot here. Gets Nicolette, kicks Joy Bodge. T with the four man ult, three man ult. Zia really low here. Can he get out? No, T dies in the process. What was Zane trying to get out here? Is this GG for BTK? Is a big top wave. No mid or bot wave anytime soon. Can they defend this top wave? It is only this top wave. Can they defend this? Zane does have retry. He can retry the big minion. And GG. Oh, my camera! My dog knocked my camera! Hey! Hey! You! What the fuck? It's going to a game 5. My dog knocked my camera. Go back to the couch. Reverse it around. They're hey. not letting BTK go home just yet. We are gonna look at a fifth match. This is a full BO5 coming in from BTK versus Ackerman. So, congratulations, Ackerman, for this win. BTK, but honestly, with a little bit of a throw. Match. Now, this is actually game point. Is it going to be BTK taking off? Oh, it's disgusting. Yeah, it kind of was. Big smile on his face. <laughs>